Hello guys, let us imagine, I am just giving a paper with a pencil and different colors of sketch and watermark. What you will try to make of it? I knew it. You will try to draw a simple image and you will try to fill the color on it. Okay, if I am asking to create a workbook with a different image and I require a different colors, will you able to create? Yes, this is possible. By this platform, today we are going to create our own art workbook application with a different and customized color based on your wish. So say bye to color pencil, color sketches and no more color is required. So before creating the project, I just want to make a note what the steps I need to follow. Okay, though this is an art workbook, I definitely require the images which I need to color. For this, I am just going there for web browser and searching the image which I want to fill the color. You can even, you can also download the image which browser which you like. I already download the image and have been stored in with my download option and renamed as 1 and 2. Okay, so guys keep in mind like after downloading the image, Please ensure that your image format should be in either in JPEG image or like a PNG format. So your file extension name is very 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 important. So the step 1 is done. That is I have done download the image and I have checked my format that is file extension. My image format is PNG. Okay. The next part is very very important. To create my application, my designing part plays a huge role. Yes. To design this application, here we are going to use a component which is nothing but canvas which is already available in media and animation. In canvas only, I will be going to insert the image. Okay, what is my next process? It is nothing but I have to fill the color. To fill the color, I am going to use a palette of button option with, with a number of number of colors. So here I plan to insert at least a 5 button by using this user interface. Under this, I am going to choose this button option. Okay. After, for example, if I am feeling the color which already I filled, uh, maybe like a red, I need to uh, erase that red color in the sense. For this, one more option is required which is nothing but clear. Here it is nothing but it clear the color which you already filled. Okay. So maybe after filling the color, I might feel like the brush thickness or thinness should be high in the sense. I will be using the one more option of a slider. Okay. So my next part could be like I will be inserting the two button. One is next and previous. Next button, it will be help lead to next image. Previous button, it will lead to my previous image. So this what could be my designing part. Let me start. So just keep in mind the procedure of designing part. So my first stage one is I have to go for drawing and animation. And under this, I have to choose the canvas option and I'm just placing on my screen one. Okay, the first part is over. Here, I'm just going to change my height and width. Fill parent. Okay, fill parent. Okay, okay. So, this part is done. And next, I'm going to use the option of button where I'm going to place below my canvas so guys keep in mind i'm just going to replace this button name so that it will be help for my future blog basis so i'm changing here this button as clear and if you want to make an italic and bold if you want to resize you can resize it if you want to change the background color you can change the background color if you want to change the text color in the sense, you can change the text color and even, even if you want to make centered in the sense, I am using the screen 1 under the center 3, center 2. 
Okay. Guys, keep in mind this clear option that is this clear button. It is helpful to refill or erase a color which you already filled with the image. Okay. Okay. I'm just going for the next level of designing where I need to insert the different colors. For this, I'm just going for the layout. I'm choosing the horizontal lay horizontal arrangement. Okay, it is placed. That's fine. Maybe here I'm changing their uh, width to be full parent. Okay. And maybe if you want to make a center, you can make a center. And I need to fill the color on it so that I'm using the button option. So one. So once a button is inserted in over, over the horizontal arrangement, again I'm changing the uh, height and width if required. So for example, if I'm changing the width and fixing as 20, let me check. Yes, that fits with the box. And uh, I'm renaming as red so that it will be effective to understand in future. And I'm changing the background color as red. Okay. So if it is not, if your width is not fit in the sense, just go again with the width and change the value of the percent and see how it look like. So if it fit with this horizontal arrangement in the sense, you can make, you can leave and can go ahead with the other process. If not, please change the fill parent percent value. Similarly, I'm going to do the process for other uh, other button and going to insert one, two, three. So almost I have inserted of five colors, I mean five button where I need to rename the button and fill the colors. So I'm just doing the process you try to follow my steps. Guys, I have inserted the button and renamed their button name and as well as their width. If the width is not fit with, the, with this horizontal arrangement in essence, please make ensure change their size with this properties of width. You can make a change like already I have changed like 18. Maybe if it is not fit in the sense, again you can change as 14. I'm just clicking, clicking OK. So for again for the pink, I'm just change, changing as 14. So now it is fine. So keep in mind, we have changed the button name as well as the size. Under designing, next time I'm going to use an option of horizontal arrangement. Just drag and place over here. It should be like below the. So under the layout, I'm choosing the horizontal arrangement and placing below my button of color. So it should be like below my. It should be below my color button. So and I need to change their uh, height and width. So here I'm going to change my width alone. And setting as OK. And I'm just dragging up and I'm using the option of label and placing over here. Now I am changing this label name as brush thickness. OK. So this brush thickness. It is nothing but where it gives a thickness of your brush, whether it want to be a thin or thickness. For this, again, I'm using one more option slider and placing over here. Yes, the slider has been fixed up. So 
here you may notice under the basic the minimum value should be zero so and i'm choosing my with fill parent of maybe 50 and i'm just going for the advanced where i'm using the thumb position as setting as one so i have done the brush thickness and i have inserted the sliders under the slider i have fitted the minimum value and as well as the thumb position yes my almost my designing part is over but still two more things are pending okay so to make still effective i'm just using my brush thickness to be center yeah even if you want to make your slider to be so now it makes uh, elegant so it is nothing but i have done the center of this particular label So again, I'm going for the layout. Under this layout, I'm just going for the horizontal arrangement and placing over here. So I have placed the horizontal arrangement. Again, I'm going to change the width, fill parent, and OK. So here I'm going to insert two button. Let me dragging this. And placing over here and I'm renaming as next and if you want to make a bold italic if you want to resize it resize if you want to change the background background color you can change the background color if you want to change the text color you can change the text color so again I'm making as this one as a duplicate one or you can choose this option from over here it is up to your convenient. So I have created one more block, which is one more button, which is nothing but previous. Where I want to make this next and previous could be on the center. So I'm just clicking on the horizontal arrangement and where I'm choosing the align horizontal and vertical to be center. Yes, now it's fine. So my next and previous, it is nothing but when I'm clicking the next button, it will be lead to my next image. If I'm clicking the previous button, it will show my previous image. It will lead to my previous image. Guys, keep in mind, under this canvas, it, we didn't start any process. Okay. Now I have to insert the image in this canvas. So I already uploaded my uh, images in this media, which I renamed as 1PNG and 2PNG. Please ensure your file extension should be in JPEG or PNG format. Yes, I'm just going for my canvas. Under this, I'm just choosing my background image and uploading the file of 1 yes now it is done again i'm uploading one more file okay so my two files have been uploaded in this screen yes almost now my designing part is over i have inserted the image i have inserted the button as well as i have inserted the color button and the brush thickness and even I also inserted the button of next and previous. In horizontal arrangement, under this button 2 and 3, just try to rename this button. Definitely, it will be helpful in your block basis. I'm just renaming as... Sorry, so it's red. Next button, and this could be 
previous button. Okay, so almost my coding part is over. Now the main thing that is the blocking basis is important. I'm just going for the blocking. So I'm going to insert a variable where it need to initialize on global basis. For this, I'm just going for the option of variable and choosing the first one initialize the global name where I'm changing this as image number and I'm just going for the text and choosing the empty text and flipping as one yes next I'm going for the component of canvas one under this canvas one, I'm choosing the option of when canvas one dragged. That is, when it is dragged, my image that the color need to be filled on it. So for this, I'm just using this option again, the canvas option. So I'm going to choose an option of call canvas draw line. Maybe this is not suitable. I'm choosing other option. So I have to choose an option of draw line and placing over here. So this is nothing but it gives a line between the given coordinate that is between the x1 and y1 and x2 and y2. For this I am just going for the option of it need to start from get previous x and it need to start from get previous y and this need to be and my x2 could be current x and this could be my current y yes just we look on this screen one i have like done the screen uh, canvas part of first level okay to use this clear button, I require some color to be filled. For keep in mind, after clear, I mean after using this button option click, then my color have to be reset. So I'm just going to create the block for this uh, color option. After that only, I'm going to create the reset option for this clear. Okay, I'm just going for the block. So I'm just clicking blue. Under this, when blue button is clicked, the blue color have to be filled. For this, I have I'm going for my canvas again. I am choosing set canvas paint color. Yeah, yes, I have found it. Yes, still the loop is pending over here. I have to tell to the paint which color they have to fill. So for this again I'm going for the color option and choosing the blue and filling this over here. I'm repeating this process for the rest of the color. Just follow it. I'm making the duplicate, making the duplicate, making the duplicate, duplicate and now changing as green, change the color as green. So again, I'm changing as orange. We are changing the color to be maybe orange. Okay. So pink, pink and red, changing the color as red. So now I have, now I have done the color change and the block has been created for the color button. 
Next, I am going to create my block for the component of brush thickness that is for the slider options. Let me check. So, I am just dragging up and choosing the slider where like when my position is changed, the size of the thickness of the brush also should be changed. For this, so I am arranging my block to be in a clear so that it is very useful to go through it. Yes, when slider 1 position changed, I have chosen this block. Again, I am going for my canvas. One so under this, I'm choosing an option of set canvas one over here, and my thumb position should be get thumb position is seconded in this loop. So I'm just going for the component for the quite quick review. Now I have set the slider positions of um, thickness to be created in my block. Next I am going to create the block for this clear. For this I am just clicking the button of button 1. Maybe if I rename it in the sense it could be quite easy. So I am just renaming as clear button I'm just going for my block again so under the canvas block I'm choosing the call canvas where it need to be clear the the color which I have filled so I have done the block for global variable and the position on the colors which need to be filled on the brush and the sliders were thickness and thinness and clear. Next my painting process could be like uh, next and previous for this I need to write a block. I am just going for my block and choosing the option of next button. So when next button is clicked, okay, I am choosing the, my previous button. So when I click the previous button, it have to go to my global image number. That is, it have to go to my variable where I need to set an operation. Let me explain. So I am just going for the option of variable under this. I am choosing set here I am choosing as global image number so still the loop pending is over here no so I am using the option of max and which is nothing but the minus operation is over used over here again I am going for the variable where I am choosing the get option over here and then I'm choosing it as global image number and here I'm setting as So I'm just going for my max. Under this, I'm choosing the zero option over here and replacing as one. Yes. It means that when I'm moving with the in my image number is two, and if I'm subtracting with one in the sense, it should be display my previous image of one. Yes. 
so still one more blog is pending over here so the pending is I am going for the can wars so under this I am choosing the set can wars background image just drag it up choose the option of yes set canvas one background image so here i am using the text option of join where i am going to join the global image number and the image format to get the global image number i need to go for the variable and i am choosing get and global image number and i'm going for the text choosing the empty text and typing my file format as png which is nothing but dot png so this option has to be repeat the same thing for my next button so i'm just making a duplicate So I am renaming as next button and so I am just moving this one where it need to be add up. So for this I am using this option and placing my global image number. Yes, now I need to delete this block yes almost my coding is done so I have done the block for my sliders button and clear button as well as for my new button as well as for my previous button let me check how the coding or how the application is work on the Xenia mobile buddy yes guys I think in this session you may create the interesting art workbook application in a very simple manner. It is just a quick review like we created the designing part like inserting the canvas concept and in and using the option of a slider. This two thing it could be quite new to you. And of course we have inserted the different types of colors button and we have inserted the buttons of next and previous. This is what our coding I mean uh, designing part of quite quick review. And when I am going with a block basis, I have created the block for variable concept has been introduced as well as we have used the options of x axis and y axis. We have used the click button option of paint color and of course we are used to the one more options like slider position where we used the where we used the Where we used the thumb position to be set and get. Yes. Finally, we have done our art workbook application as successfully. Thank you. Thanks for watching this session. Hope we can see you on the next sessions too. Okay, the application is working in my mobile. I'm trying to implement the green color. Wow. I'm just increasing the thickness of orange. Wow. I'm trying for the pink color, it's working. The red, wow, it's working. So if I'm increasing the size, thickness, now I'm trying for the pink, wow. I have done the previous button. Okay, it's working. My second, that is my previous image is also showing. Now I'm inserting the different colors and clearing. Yes, the application is working in a very perfect way.